That's one small step for man. It's been 50 years since we first had a man land on the moon. One giant leap for mankind. We've almost seen people get giddy and you see their inner child come out when they talk about space. So many things that seemed like sci-fi are becoming more realistic by the day. The space economy totaled about $384 billion. By 2040, the space economy could increase to about $1.1 trillion. For someone that's looking at investing in the space industry, there are many different companies and, and alternatives that they can look at. The largest areas of spending that we've seen comes from telecom. From many estimates, it looks like internet could be the driving force for the next several years ahead for the space economy. If you look at companies like Facebook, one of their plans was to create drones to beam internet to people in more remote areas. But companies like Facebook and others are realizing this might be able to be done via satellites. And it might actually be cheaper, and it might even be more efficient. It's a matter of getting more satellites into orbit, which is something that we already see companies very interested in actively doing. The technology of reusable rockets is one of these areas I find it very interesting. Flying from New York, landing in China, and destroying the plane after your flight. That's currently what we do with spacecraft and rockets. Now if you could actually reuse it instead of having to build a new craft and, and rockets each time you go, you could significantly reduce the cost, and that's something that SpaceX is working on today. That could also create a lot of new clients for these launch companies, because all of a sudden, if it costs a couple million dollars to launch something into space as opposed to tens of millions, it's going to allow a lot more companies to say yes when looking at that equation. Lift off. Originally, there was so much interest from governments, and the governments had the pocketbooks. They could spend the money. Now, governments are not just saying, okay, we need to do this, and it's us, and it's a patriotic mission, and we need to be the ones in the forefront. Now, governments are starting to come to companies and saying, hey, there are projects that we want to do, but we don't have the technology. They're willing to shake hands and say, if you could come up with new technologies that will enhance our abilities once we're in space, we want to purchase those from you. We don't necessarily need to own those technologies, we just want to use your technologies. The fact that space has captured our imagination, coupled with many different themes that we're seeing converge at this moment, has actually made space something that investors could consider investing in now.